I am. Absolutely. I wanted to share a little bit of that story. Um, let people out there know, you know, that the, the roots of Camp Tecumta in, in Vermont and New York go deep and whatever we can do this year. It's been a tough year. Um, little things that my family has done. Uh, my wife, Bobby, my daughters, Alice and Lauren and I went to camp this summer and we had a socially distant tour and we saw what they're able to provide to these children and then the connection to UVM. And so we felt compelled to really, what can we do? How can we do this? And, and one thing was honoring my uncle's wishes. And so he was able to help the camp financially uh, with his estate, but also my brother, Matt, myself and some other friends in November did a no shave November event, all funds going to Camp Tecumta. At last count, that's a little over $2,000. So hopefully that's close to sending a kid. Um, awesome. And, and then I've got friends across the country that are listening to this on a live stream. Um, I, I taught everybody how to enable the big hits cool 105 uh, skill <laughs> on Alexa. Nice. But, Thank uh, you. Like it. <laughs> and we, we just want to make sure in our own little way we keep the keep the mission going because um, you can really change people's lives one step at a time. And how happy was your wife about December 1st showing up on the calendar? <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, get that thing off, put it in the <laughs> dustbin. Although we did give, uh, there were four or five of us that did it. And um, my little brother's was the best because he's a dead ringer for Frank Zappa when he grows a beard. So <laughs> wow, <laughs> he caught a lot of heat for that. So it was good. <laughs> Hey, Dean, uh, tell us uh, just a little bit about Hubert. Uh, what did he do? Uh, tell us a little bit about his life. You know, thank you, Mark. So my uncle Hubert was born in East Berkshire, a very small town. He's an Enosburg Falls High School graduate, class of 1963. Um, and he worked on the farm growing up. There was a family farm, but he went into the United States Navy. He became a, uh, a nuclear technician on the USS Shark in the 60s. He did that for six or seven years. Um, well-trained. He actually came through Great Lakes in Chicago. Uh, so anytime he'd visit us here, there was always that connection. And we'd go up and go down memory lane. And then when he came back to Vermont, um, he became a journeyman electrician. Uh, and then he worked for IBM for a number of years down in Essex and uh, lived in St. Albans. That's where he had his home. He, he actually built the house. And in the late 80s, he recruited some college-age labor, yours truly, to help, uh, help work on that. Um, he had a great network of friends, family. There's a breakfast group that he uh, he always saw with. And, and the cool thing for me is I knew a lot of these people through his life, but then through his illness and passing and Camp Tecumta, we've just kind of expanded that. Um, and, and so it's been it's been kind of a neat, neat thing, but just a lifelong Vermont farm boy. That's a great story. And uh, I'm sure some of those people who he, he connected with over the years are listening right now. And uh, now's the time, folks. If if you are a friend, or or uh, maybe you grew up in the, that whole area in East Berkshire or uh, Franklin County, folks, now's the time to uh, remember this fine gentleman who served his country, served the community, served his family, and uh, and we're remembering him here this morning. That's awesome. Well, and John and Mark, I'd like to see if maybe we could jumpstart uh, some of that fundraising. And so, on behalf of my family, well, we're going to pledge a thousand dollars. And I'd like to see in the next few minutes, if your callers, your listeners could call in and let's see if we can match that, because that goes a long way to sending one more kid to camp. And I just encourage everybody in this tough and challenging year to remember that, that the children and the families that are going through this have a tough, tough journey ahead of them, and they need our support. And I, I love how you're messaging it. And I love how you're, you're encouraging people just a little bit at a time. 